Hey guys, Exus Mount Team Internal. Uh, if you watched my video on how to install the Ubuntu mobile preview on your Nexus 4, this is it right here. Um, this is very different from Android. Uh, if you can tell from first glance, the lock screen is different. There's not really nothing interactive yet. Uh, this is still a preview, this is not the complete final build. Um, so if you did install this to unlock your phone, just swipe to the side there. If you swipe to this side, you get your menu, your your you know your quick settings right there. If you hit that, go to your home menu. You can uh, swipe side to side or click down here. If you swipe over here, let's see, I don't know if I open it, open some apps up real quick. Let's see we did that, go back home, uh, let's see the Gmail, and let's do camera. Alright. So you got these three apps open here. If you wanna like uh, go to your recent app whatnot. You can do a swipe like this, right on the corner or the edge of the phone, and it'll bring back the app you had open. Uh, here's the camera. There's no real zoom on this. I don't think. Let's see. It plays a little bit. Uh, no, I don't see. Oh, it's right here. Oh, there you go. So here's your zoom. See, it does pretty decent on your zoom. You see, get closer here, you can see it. It's not too, too bad. Um, take a picture here. And it gives you a nice little preview of the picture. It's pretty, pretty good. Let me see how it looks on this. Yeah, it's way bright. Let's do auto flash. Still too bright. Let's do without flash. All right, then you open your gallery back up. This does come with uh, a bunch of crap in it, like some default gallery stuff, because this is a preview. Um, but here you can see your images. They're sorted by date. Um, here's one I took earlier, and here's the one that we just took just now. You can see it looks. Okay, I mean you can you can see some detail. Um, it's not the greatest, but of course this is a preview. Um, it's pretty fast though for you know for what it is. Uh, here's your keyboard. Let's see if I bring Facebook back up. So let's see here. It looks like if you run through it too fast, you get uh, you get some issues here. The keyboard, there it goes. Okay, let's try let's see the Gmail. Okay, so here's your keyboard. It's pretty pretty big. There's no real feedback on it. Um, this is a sentence somewhere, but I don't see a sentence on here. Let's see, swipe up, nothing. All right. So there's your keyboard. It's not too bad. It's yeah, it's basic, it's just a plain keyboard. Hopefully they let you uh, install some cool keywords there, or maybe uh, if this really gets popular, you can see like Swift Key Flow, or you can see uh, Swipe, or whatever, show up for this operating system, but so far it's just that. Um, come back over here, drop that down. Uh, here's your dollar. There's your dollar right there. You hit, uh, if you swipe to the side here, you got call, conversations, contacts, uh, and that's, let's see, that's it. It just keeps going and going and going to the same stuff. Dollars, like, the dollar works. You can make phone calls. Um, let me see if you can hear this or not. Whatever. Uh, speakerphone does not work. I can't get it to work anyway. Got some other contacts here. Um, you got your drop down. <clears throat> you have messages. You have a clear all button down here. Uh, bring that back up. There's if you drop down on the icon. It'll be the sentence for that icon. Like there's a sound sentence, 
uh, networks, uh, come on, network settings, uh, what else I can do here, you got your bad, uh, your device, which is, the clock it does that, I guess battery and, and device are the same ones, yeah, uh, messages, sound, networks, there's your networks there. Uh, your battery. You click on it if it happens though. I'm at brightness on and off. So brightness works. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to it right now. Like I said, this is a preview. There's no real settings menu in here. You can't go around and start changing stuff around. You can't change your wallpaper. Um, Let's see how this stuff works. You got videos. So you can view stuff. But when you do reboot the phone, you lose all your settings. Everything gets reset again. Um, but yeah, this is a Ubuntu mobile. Uh, just a preview for the Nexus. Um, um, I can't wait to see how, you know, what else comes through from this. It looks pretty... It's different, you know. It's, it's nice to have options other than just Android. Uh, I know some people can get Windows on here, but that's a big kind of issue. Uh, but it's nice to have another uh, option as far as operating system goes, not just Android. You can have now you have Linux, so that's pretty cool. So I'm hoping to see this really grow, and I'm hoping to see more follow, like maybe Mint or some other guys following the footsteps of Ubuntu here. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. You know, have more options and just do what you want with your phone. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got to show you for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another video on how to uninstall this and how to get your Android back on your phone and uh, go back to how you were before you installed this software. So this is Access Magic with Team Nocturnal. Thank you for watching.